SketchUp is a great software, but if you want to model more complex objects, it's necessary to use plugins. Thanks to them, you can speed up your workflow and designing in SketchUp will be much easier. Today, I will show you five of the most useful SketchUp plugins. Round Coroner is the oldest plugin and Frido Coroner is a newer plugin. I always choose Frido Coroner because it works better. Using this tool, you can run the edges. And this is my simple coffee table. Let's see how it looks like on the visualization. That's the visualization without the round corner. And now I will create round corners for this coffee table. To do this, I come a little closer. I select the lower part of the coffee table. Then I click on the free the corner round and the new panel has appeared. I click on select all connected faces and select the corners. All the corners are selected. Then I need to set the offset. I will change it to 0 0.3. And here I can select the profile. I click on this. It's a profile of rounding. We can choose different types. In 2D or in 3D, we have the preview. I will select the circle. And this one looks very fine. We can increase the number of segments for example, to 12, I select, and then I choose super rounding at the corner and generate geometry. And it's done. The edges are rounded. I click to exit, and I will do the same with the top part of the coffee table. I click on the round, then I change the offset to 0 0.5, and then I generate geometry. That's all. I click to exit. I go to the scene and let's see the visualization. We see that the difference is visible. The light works very fine with the rounded edges and we can compare these two visualizations. This is before and this is after. Let's see that the difference is very visible. This is paid plugin, but it's definitely worth your money. Thanks to this plugin, your project, models, and visualizations will be much better. They will be in the highest quality. In this scene, I have two chairs. Let's notice that the mapping of the texture looks very bad. We need to fix it. I will focus on the first chair, and here I have Sketch UV plugin. If I want to fix this mapping, all I need to do is go to the group editing mode and select one face. I will change the view, that's why I go to the camera tab, standard view, and choose the right view. It can be a front view, right view looks fine. And then this face is in front of my camera. I click on the sketch UV mapping tool, then right click on the plane, and choose planner map. It looks fine. Let's do this again. I will choose view from the top, select the face, sketch your v-mapping tools, right click and planner map. It works fine. The mapping on the first chair looks very nice. Sketch UV is a free plugin and it's very useful if you want to map the texture properly. Here I have second chair, Remember that if you are using V-Ray in SketchUp, you can fix this mapping very simply. Just click on the seating, then right-click, choose V-Ray Utilities, and then choose Tree Planner Projection Fit. Click on this and wait a second. It's fine. So you can choose Sketch UV Plugin or Tree Planner Projection in V-Ray for SketchUp. Have you seen my website, idag.org? This is a website with many SketchUp and V-Ray courses. If you want to learn more about SketchUp and V-Ray, I invite you to see a free tutorials and my courses. Using this tool, we can create a curtain or a blanket. To do this, we need two objects. First object is a cloth. It is a simple rectangle, which we need to group. I click three times, right click, and make group. This will be closed, that's why I right-click again, 
go to Cloth Works and choose Make Cloth. A second object will be Collider. I want to put this cloth on the sofa. That's why I click on the sofa, right click, Cloth Works and Make Collider. So my objects are assigned to two categories, Cloth and Collider. The next thing to do is to divide this rectangle into many parts. That's why I select the rectangle, right click, cloth works, one cloth, and choose the second option. The first option works only with paid license, and the second option works with free license. That's why I choose the second option, and now I can create the grid. The resolution 4000 is fine, that's why I click OK, and it's done. If I go to the view and hit in geometry, I can see the divisions. I will uncheck this option. We are almost ready, but there is no material applied to the rectangle. We need to do this now. So I go to the materials tab and I prepare the material. I apply this material to the rectangle. It's done. Then let's see the effect. I click on play. I'll wait a second. And this is my live simulation. I will stop this simulation and this is a final effect. I'm not really satisfied with this result. I will do this again. I press Ctrl Z, Ctrl Z second time and do it again. But this time I will rotate the rectangle. I choose rotate tool, press arrows on the keyboard to set the right plane. I click once, second time and rotate it by 10 degrees. I will do this again in this plane. I click once, second time, and rotate it also by 10 degrees. Let's start the simulation. Now the effect will be much better because the rectangle has different direction and it will be much more natural. Remember that you can change the simulation. Just click left and drag to the left. And let's see that the blanket looks different. Okay, I stop the simulation and that's the final effect. Let's check it on the render. This carpet looks very good, very natural. I recommend this plugin. Remember that the paid version of this plugin has more features. For example, you can add the thickness to the cloth. In the free version is not possible, but I recommend this free or paid plugin. This is my scene with a table and chairs. Let's check the size of this file. I will save this file, save, and let's check the size of the file in the folder. The file has a size 4.4 megabytes. Let's clean this file. We can do this in two ways. The first way is go to the Windows tab. Model Info and go to Statistics. I will purge unused file and we see the difference. Let's save it, save as and save it. Let's see that new file is lighter. Thanks to it, it will work faster in SketchUp. A second way to clean this file is Cleanup Extension. I go to the Extensions tab, Cleanup and choose clean. Here I have some options. I will leave it as it is and choose cleanup. In the bottom left corner, we have some information about cleanup process. It's done. A lot of edges and faces are reduced. I press OK, go to the file and save as. Let's see the size in your file is the lightest. It's 4 megabytes. So remember that we can purge unused materials and models, but Cleanup plugin is better. Cleanup is a free plugin, so I recommend to install it in your SketchUp. This armchair is downloaded from the website. Notice that there are many faces and edges, and this file is very heavy. We need to change it. To do this, we need one of two plugins, Skimp or Transmuter. 
I'm using Skimp, but it's as good as Transmuter. Unfortunately, it's not a free plugin, but if you are downloading a lot of heavy 3D models from the websites, it's very useful to use one of these two plugins. I have a Skimp, so let's see how it works. I select the file, then I choose Simplify Selection, and it's automatically simplified. We can change the reduction. I mostly reduce number of faces by 70% to have 30% of faces. And that's it. I replace and wait. I purge a new components and it's done. I will save this file and let's see the difference. At the beginning, the size of the file was 58 megabytes and now it's 6.7 megabytes. I think that the difference is huge. And let's see that after reduction, the quality of the model is still very high. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and visit my website edac.org. See you soon. Bye.